Japan's new skyscraper will dwarf the Burj Khalifa. Have you ever walked around a metropolitan area and just marvel at all of the insanely tall buildings surrounding you? There is something just so magnificent about a skyscraper, the way they seem to defy all laws of gravity and logic as they tower over a city. Once upon a time, the Empire State Building in New York City was the tallest in the world, including the antenna at the very top the skyscraper stands at 1,454 feet tall. But the Empire State Building was knocked out of the top spot in 1972 when the construction of the original World Trade Center Twin Towers was completed. Sadly, those towers collapsed in 2001. But in the last four decades, there have been so many mega-tall buildings that have popped up all over the globe that the Empire State Building no longer even makes the list of the tallest 50 buildings in the world. The tallest building in the world, Burj Khalifa, will be replaced from the top of the list because Japan is building a skyscraper that will be much taller than this building. You didn't expect Japan to have the tallest skyscraper next to China and the United Arab Emirates, right? Well, you see, everything is possible. Welcome back to the Billion Dollar Projects channel. It's great that we are hanging out again and talking about the world's billion dollar projects, their construction, and their future appearance. To continue the video as soon as possible, press the bell for more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, and like the video. That's it. Let's start. Having the tallest building in the world is a symbol of a country's wealth. Currently, the tallest building in the world is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The tower is 828 meters high, with 162 floors, and cost $15 billion. Saudi Arabia, the neighbor of the UAE's local tyrants, decided to snatch the crown. So they began to build the Jeddah Tower in 2013. The tower is 1,000 meters high and has 252 floors with a total investment of 20 billion US dollars. However, the plan is always unable to keep up with the rapid changes. Saudi Arabia, the richest country in the Middle East, has not yet had the addiction to the world's first. But Japan has a new plan. Tokyo's super-tall skyscrapers are the tallest in the world. According to the plan, a 1,700-meter-high Zijing building, also called Sky Mile Towers, will be built in Tokyo Bay, with a group of islands at the foot of the Zijing building. The tower will feature a hexagonal design, which was found to be the most wind-resistant shape, with six interconnected building legs formed a slotted, tapered structure that can withstand strong winds. It will provide more than 320 meters of multi-story open-air balconies and shared public facilities, including shops, restaurants, hotels, libraries, gyms, and clinics. The tower will be surrounded by an archipelago, forming the core area of the next Tokyo development. The building can accommodate up to 55,000 residents, with elevators running vertically at the top and bottom of the building's five residential zones and extending horizontally in each zone. The elevators will form a ring lift system, serving the sky lobby from different angles. The green complex will be designed to utilize a portion of the waste heat in the building to increase energy efficiency. Water will be collected centrally, stored at various heights, and distributed using gravity, eliminating the need to pump the water upwards from the ground. The hexagonal islands are designed to protect the city from flooding and other waterborne risks, including the increased risk of earthquakes and typhoons at sea level. If the plans are finally approved, the Sky Tower is expected to be completed in 2045 and will surpass the 828-meter-tall Burj Khalifa as well as the 1,000-meters-tall Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia. Do you think this is the most ambitious project ever conceived for Tokyo? Well, you are wrong. There is a plan for an even taller building than the Sky Tower. The Exceed 4000 was a concept mega-tall skyscraper. The idea was initially created and developed by Martin Pasco. Its proposed 4-kilometer-high, 6-kilometer-wide sea base and 800-floor capacity could accommodate 500,000 to 1 million inhabitants. This structure would be composed of over 3 million tons of steel. Unlike conventional skyscrapers, to remain habitable, the Exceed 4000 would be forced to actively protect its occupants from considerable internal air pressure and external air pressure gradations and weather fluctuations that its massive elevation would cause. Its design calls for the use of solar power to maintain internal environmental conditions. A sea-based location and a Mount Fuji shape are some of this building's other major design features. The real Mount Fuji is land-based and is 3,776 meters high, 
making it 224 meters shorter than the XSEED 4000. Although the plan of this project is perfect and finished to the end, this skyscraper will never be built. What a shame. Do you say that the 400 meters is a very high height for a skyscraper? Get ready for a project that is even taller than the XSEED 4000. Well, the Tokyo Tower of Babel is the tallest proposed building ever. First proposed in 1992, it was inspired by the Biblical Tower of Babel, a structure that could reach the heavens. This Tower of Babel would reach 10 kilometers in height with the main purpose of population support, having as many as 30 million people living in this area. Mainly made out of steel, it would most likely take about 100 years to complete and would cost 3 trillion yen, or 27,218 billion US dollars. Are you surprised by the existence of these projects? Don't be. Technology and people are progressing and the world will get even more incredible skyscrapers in the future. Well, there is a comment section, so write your opinion about this topic. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Drop a like if you enjoy the video. Thank you for your attention. Meet you again.